Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano of California warning as clues of imminent eruption across California County. Now, this is today's article, but we're not going to take the geologist's word for it. We're going to go to the geodesy to see the actual movement and how unbelievably uh, shaky and alternate, alterating and uh, crazy it looks. It looks bizarre. And um, this is Long Valley Caldera, one of the very high threat volcanoes of California. It last had a super eruption 760,000 years ago. It's considered to be one of the world's most dangerous with signs that an eruption is imminent having surfaced across, across the California region. Long Valley Caldera, the depression in Eastern California sitting next to the Mammoth Mountain. It has a geothermal uh, station there as well. One of the planet's largest calderas, a huge cauldron-like hollow forming after the eruption. It measures 20 miles by 11 miles wide. It's up to 3,000 feet deep. And it originally formed in the last super eruption 760,000 years ago when a devastating eruption released hot ash that later cooled and formed the Bishop Tuff, a welded tuff that characterizes the region. Mountains of this. Now, the ash was sent eight miles into the air, with deposits believed to fall as far as east as Kansas. Despite the absolute chaos Long Valley could cause if it were to have a super eruption, little is said of it. Instead, there's more attention being focused on Yellowstone, the other supervolcano hundreds of miles, about 500, 600 miles northeast of um, Long Valley. But the thing is, if you see the videos before this one, they have the same mantle plume that originates from Baja California, which is in a Y shape. The western part goes under San Andrea and Walker Lane Fault System, where the uh, Long Valley Caldera sits. And the eastern part goes up from Baja through Utah, Salt Lake City, up into uh, Wyoming, that makes a western turn under Idaho, craters of the moon. Now, basically, they have the same mantle plume. Now, according to Science Channel, Long Valley could well be on its way to erupting. This is the image of the resurgent dome of, Yellow, of uh, Long Valley Caldera. I finally support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Showing the ash of the Bishop Tuff of Long Valley compared to the Huckleberry Ridge and the Yellowstone Caldera ash eruptions, as you can see. So, uh, the supervolcano and its recent activity was explored in the uh, channel's documentary, Secrets of the Underground. Rob Nelson, scientist and the show's narrator, said there are alarming signs of possible volcanic activity. He says, and there are clues pointing towards an imminent eruption scattered throughout this valley, the site of the second largest explosive volcanic eruption in North America. Even if a modern day eruption from Long Valley supervolcano was not on the same scale as previous events, it still poses an existential threat to the millions who live around it, he said. We will take a look at the earthquakes, but also especially the GPS to see the inflation there and the direction of it. Now, he says, um, the investigation carried out by Science Channel in part of the valley found several instances of smoke billowing out from underneath the ground. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Uh, smoke is different than steam. Now, Jared Peacock, a geophysicist, also pointed out an alarming feature of the caldera that could spell trouble using INSAR data that has monitored the region for the past 20 years. The INSAR is a remote sensing technology. It focuses a beam of radiation on a target, which then bounces back to a sensor on an antenna, creating a detailed map of the region. One of the most troubling areas INSAR pinpointed happened to be very close to Mammoth Lakes, a town in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Mammoth Lakes, of course, is the Long Valley Caldera area. Pointing to a map created from the data, Mr. Peacock said, right here in the middle, you see there is a resurgent dome. 
The baking hot red point is pictured located directly beneath the ground where magma likely resides. Mr. Peacock said something underneath it is pushing it upwards, of course. In order to determine whether the Long Valley Caldera supervolcano was truly coming back to life, Peacock and Mr. Nelson set up a pair of sensor pipes directly above the point that the INSAR data identified the resurgent dome, and they scanned for signs of trouble deep underground from this area. The pipes held helped detect changes in the Earth's magnetic field, enabling the two scientists to determine whether any liquid was underground. And in running the tests, they discovered massive amounts of liquid beneath the dome's surface, clear signs of volcanic activity. But this activity was not centralized, which would be cause for concern. It was sparse and spread out. Peacock said, we can say conclusively that there is no giant magma chamber below, but there are smaller satellite ones around the area. But the danger of an eruption was not completely ruled out. A year later, a study published in the science journal Geoscience World found evidence of ground deformation of the supervolcano. That's what we're going to see, the huge amount of deformation. It looks really drunk. Now, geologists who led the study found ongoing uplift suggests new magma may have intruded into the reservoir since at least 1978. The, the uplift could be evidence of moving molten rock or the crystallization of material deep beneath the ground. And the study reads, despite 40 years of diverse investigations, the presence of large volumes of melt in Long Valley's magma reservoir remain unresolved. The scientists estimate the Long Valley Caldera Reservoir contains considerable qualities of melt likely greater than 240 cubic miles or 1,000 cubic kilometers. About 27% of this melt could be hot enough to be scorching liquid rock. And according to the United States Geological Survey, USGS, Long Valley last erupted about 100,000 years ago. And this is by uh, Joel Day of Express UK. Let's go now to volcano discovery in the geodesy and the earthquakes to see what's happening there. This is the Long Valley Caldera, Mammoth Lakes, Mono Lake, as you can see. And um, it's not just there, but it's also the nearby Mina earthquakes that have been going on for months. This whole area, this is a volcanic area, of course. And this is the whole area here. And this is, again, the San Andreas Fault and the Walker Lane Fault System, having all the high threat volcanoes of California. This is the Garlic Fault. That's Ridgecrest right there. Now going to Long Valley. Uh, caldera on uh, volcano discovery, a large 17 by 32 kilometer caldera, normal dormant one out of five current status, and this is of course a very old update, uh, the result of a giant explosive eruption 760,000 years ago with uh, the formation of the widespread Bishop Tuff. Caldera has been showing, uh, showing uh, unrest in recent years. This is even, uh, you know, about 10 years old in the form of deformation of the caldera floor and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles. It's a basically like Yellowstone, but they don't have as much attention being paid to this, which is dangerous, of course, because it is, it is a supervolcano after all. These are the latest earthquakes, uh, but that's not all. This is old, obviously. And again, this is Mon Mono Lake and uh, Mammoth Lakes. Mammoth Lakes, Mono Lake, this is all Long Valley Caldera system, simplified. Okay, the activity continues in the central part of the, uh, uh, the caldera to form a lava dome. Smaller explosive eruptions of rhyodacite pumice occurred as well from outer ring fractures vents. The last activity was about 50,000 years ago. Now let's go to our geodesy so we can see Long Valley. This is uh, one of the areas of, um, this is Mono Lake, right there, and uh, Tom's place is also, all this is Long Valley Caldera, and um, I'll leave a link below for you for this, okay, that right there, all those uh, GPS stations, let's move in again, uh, that's too far in, wait a minute, okay, okay, uh, a little bit further in, okay, let's take this one here, 
This one is P633. This is the east-west graph. If it goes up, it means it's going east. This is going west. This is the north-south graph. This is going all, all over the place from 2008. It went down, it went uh, south, then it went quickly from 2012 north, then south, then north, and then south. Take your pick. Right now it's going southeast. And this is the, um, we're talking about the inflation, deflation here, inflation, deflation, inflation. Okay, this is uh, south of Mono Lake. Let's take this one here, north of Mono Lake. Okay, this is going southeast and it's inflating so you can see there's a lot of uh contrary movement here let's take this one here to the west okay that's going south west and it's slowly inflating and let's go towards mono lake uh the mammoth lake sorry tom's place mammoth lakes right here Again, it's going southwest, and it's inflating. And let's go a little bit further down towards Tom Place. Tom's Place is going southwest and inflating. So all of this is inflating. Let's go towards Mina. It's going southwest and inflating. Um, let's, we took that one. Let's go to this one here. P762, southwest and inflating. And shall we take one towards this area? P648, oh, this one is going really, really uh, bizarre. Okay, it was going south, uh, sorry, west, and then it was going south, then the north and uh, south, and it's inflating. So this one here is the basically the worst of all. But you have contrary movements and you have a lot of inflation there. So all of you there, please be very careful. Okay, this is it right here, as we can see. This is the Long Valley Caldera area right here. Okay. And it's about uh, five, six hundred miles from Yellowstone, which is around here. Thank you for your support. I'll leave links below for you for this. Please leave your comments. Thank you.